All right. Um, now I'm going to show you about uh, compositing. Uh, quite very important. I start with the uh, difference between filmic and default. I rendered out an HDRI. Um, I play with the contrast. And if you want to check this, uh, this uh, render, uh, see what happens around the sun. And look at the colors and the detail of the sun over there. And I go higher. Now uh, check uh, this uh, graph over here. So imagine that this is our monitor and the values uh, stay inside. Well, I mean, that's our mon what our monitor can see. So look at that, what happens, how, it, how the wave uh, behaves. So I go up and then those high values got a bit uh, squeezed, squeezed. So behaves like that. Uh, now I jump over to standard, standard, and check what happens when I play with the contrast here in the picture. So I go down. This looks quite different. So what I see here is uh, this is completely white, and this is uh, the, has the wrong color. And this looks completely broke. Now look at uh, the waveform over here. What happens? So the values are going. Uh, outside this uh, square, uh, the, how do you call that? Outside the square, and then the, and the monitor cannot see these values that, that are here. So what happens is that you see that this is a completely white. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. So that's the difference. Um, I want to show you also, and let's go back to Filmic. If you right click, and let's put exposure down, and uh, you see the sun here, I right click, and then you see uh, values uh, over here. There are two sections, uh, a section on the left that is the uh, scene um, referred data or linear data, I believe, that can have very high values. In this case, this HDRI is not even that high dynamic, but it's high dynamic. Um, and on the left, you see the data transformed from that scene uh, referred data to um, display referred data that works with values between 0 and 1. So I right click, and there you see, for example, uh, X and the uh, Y is position of the mouse. I don't know what the set is. And then you see R, G, and B, you see values there, very high. And uh, around, um, what is it, it's uh, 36,000. And then a CM, and I think that stands for color managed. And then you see values uh, on a one. So that is um, the, the data that our monitor works with from zero to one. Uh, that's that, and let's go to the compositing. So uh, let's put this back on reset to default value. So that's a zero. Uh, let's put this in you know, contrasts. Um, and then uh, there are some nodes that uh, doesn't work, don't work properly on that high dynamic uh, data. So the, the nodes should work on that linear data, but these nodes are developed during the time that there was the default view. So the formula behind it works with numbers between 0 and 1. And some math uh, work uh, well with all kinds of numbers, so it's like uh, multiply, divide, power, uh, such uh, things, but all formula uh, don't work well with um, that high dynamic data and the brightness contrast is one of them so let's um, unmute this um, so brightness contrast uh, brightness contrast should work around the middle and expand it or uh, do it like that 
but it's not like that I look at what happens here so I put that all the way down and we see it ends up here around uh, what is it, maybe 70 or so it should be around uh, the middle now um, so this node is uh, broke I show you another node um, I got this from Troy Sabotka uh, if you unmute this and I put that on zero I think then we see it so that means it's on zero is zero contrast so um, there's no contrast at all so there is one kind of value and ends up exactly um, well it looks almost exactly uh, um, there in the middle uh, like 50 or this is mid gray mid gray that value we've seen before in the other um, uh, videos uh, so that was uh, 0 0.18 uh, but here that uh, we translate that to 0 0.5 or 50 uh, so let's uh, check how that behaves over here we see that these values um, oh well, sorry we have to go to film here so all right <laughs> Oh, the pivot, sorry. Yeah, you see that the values um, expand and contract uh, better over there. So there's a back one. All right. And put the exposure bit down, maybe. Depends. So let's go, let's go back uh, to slot uh, one. And there I run it out uh, character. Now, um, I made another video, by the way, about uh, which uh, nodes are broken, which not. But I want to jump over uh, how I process uh, images. I'm a person who um, posts on uh, Twitter all the time and Facebook, social media. So I'm not making really predictions, so I don't need like a nuke or... Um, what is it? Uh, can use a natron, uh, etc. But um, I think most people uh, are like me, and they um, post on social media. And in that case, I want to show you that work workaround. So um, some might not agree with me, but what I do is um, I look at this uh, the render, I play with the exposure, and you look. Um, look at and the details so I want to keep the detail with the, the pores and so I want to capture that one in this case so if I go to high I miss uh, that one so if I'm going to run this out I cannot get back those details so I, I want to run it out like that and then um, I save that, save that as PNG. I'm sorry about that, but um, yeah, I post a social media, so um, I do that. So I did that. So I, um, I opened it up in a photo editor, and then in that case, I play with the values. But you have to be careful. If you go too far, then you get that same ugly effect like in the default view you see that in discoloration etc but here is no data there's nothing so i think we cannot break uh, things over here so i think it's quite safe to do this to do that i think it won't break anything but if you go over here you see yeah that uh, strange effect again so i think this is uh, safe I'm not sure about uh, the gamma, but you can play with that if you think uh, it's good. So I, I would put it like that and then put it on uh, Twitter. Um, let me see if there is something uh, more I want to tell about the compositor. Um, maybe I can tell you what is broke or not. So brightness contrast broke, color balance, yeah, I can show that. So we have lift gamma gain. That is also a formula that doesn't work with um, the high dynamic uh, values. But if you put this on offset power slope, 
I said a while ago, and uh, some of math is uh, safe to use as like a power a multiply. Um, what was it? I forgot. <laughs> um, so uh, let's plug this in over here, plug it in over there. <clears throat> let's see what happens. So uh, maybe reset default. Go over here. Uh, let's check what happens here. So, see that happens. So, um, yeah, all the, 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 I think that is gold. Um, this is not. What is that? Oh, yeah. Well, we have to go to standard view so we can see it. Because, um, because th this is also using a formula to do something with the data and we cannot see exactly what it does. So now we see that this is just add. So this is add, add the values to all the data. And this is, uh, what is that? That is like, um, uh, I think it's multiply, multiply. And I think this must be Okay, power. So let me see. Oh, this is power. This is multiply. All right, we are there. So now back to filmic. 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 So add, subtract. Uh, this is a power. This is uh, multiply. I'm not sure if you can see what the, what this does. So let's go to filmic standard view. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah, yeah. It start, <laughs> starts uh, clipping over there. You see that? It's, it's not uh, safe to use. And if we do that, um, we get that every colors, a gamma. All right. That's also not good. I suppose. Uh, yeah, this looks uh, normal. This looks like um, multiply also. So I think the, this lift and gamma is broke. But uh, these are all safe to use. Nothing can happen. Uh, uh, wait, we have to go back to Filmic, of course. All right, uh, let me see if there's something more. So then the color correction, uh, let me see. No, I, I believe this also broke. Uh, I broke, I mean, that doesn't work on the um, scene referred data. Exposure, I think that's safe to use. Let's check that out. Uh, yeah, that's good. This is just, um, Multiply, right? Yeah, because the um, this is zero. If you multiply it, it stays zero. And uh, higher values, if you multiply that, then you go higher. And then so we go to color uh, gamma. I'm not sure about that. Huge, you correct? I'm not sure. Um, uh, this one also safe to use. As far as I see, this is also just multiply. I don't understand why they put an exposure on there. Is there any difference? Ah, it doesn't just go a bit higher. Okay, and uh, that color. Then we got invert mix. Yeah, you have a lot of mixes. So mixes are okay, I think. Then we have divide safe, um, and all those uh, things are not safe except add, um, and all those uh, things like color burn, etc. I better don't use it. And there are filters, I think a lot of filters are not good. For example, um, glare, I think I wouldn't use that. Um, 
then um, the this will save fill, back to filter yeah, and then some beams. Uh, yeah, the rest seems to be okay, maybe. Or yeah, so you might be careful with that. So I develop um, nodes that are safe to use with um, scene referred data, mostly. So I got this one, and this uh, ESC CDL, and just a few presets. If you go inside, you see just um, ESC CDL nodes. If you plug that in here. Like that, and there. So, we have done some uh, presets here. Uh, yeah, safe to use. Yeah, you cannot break it. And uh, these are part of the EV Express. EV products, I'm getting a bit tired uh, on all film. And so, this was the eight. Um, Video I recorded today, I'm recording since one o'clock, so it was seven hours and a one go. All right, so yeah, I said I want to show one more thing, and that is uh, something about um, a specular reflection. Sometimes we have uh, material like this, so we go here, material, then I go. To Quixel, and I go to uh, where is it? Quixel. Oh, I cannot find it. So uh, must be here. Ah, I have to go to materials. So Quixel rock. No, yeah, yeah, mossy rock, mossy rock. I'm compiling. Uh, let's go to cycles. Cycles. Um, you see, here's specular um, reflection. That doesn't look good. Uh, it's PBR uh, material. Oh, <laughs> I have to go to the scene Ah, sorry, the object. It was PBR material, but it doesn't it look strange. So it, you see, on top it's nice, and uh, look uh, over there, it looks uh, quite <laughs> quite ugly, almost like a kind of a rough mirror. So uh, what's going on here is, I think, in real life there's much more geo. This is pure flat flat plane, uh, perfect flat. Uh, so the and, and the, this node is just approximation of uh, roughness. Uh, what I do is I turn down. In such case, I I want to turn down specularity. I don't see any other uh, solution. Well, there is another solution. I can go uh, over here and subdivide maybe a thousand times and then add uh, something like a displacement or something like that, and then it looks okay. But yeah, that is very expensive. So I cheat a bit and then I uh, turn the specularity down so it doesn't look that uh, bad. All right, so I think, um, yeah, that was uh, the videos. Maybe I add one more and so I show you then a complete workaround from A to Z, how I uh, run a scene. All right, thanks for watching and I'm going to compile the videos and then. They will be available the 24th of August. All right. Thanks for watching.